Hey everybody and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's gonna to be time for some Hearts of Iron 4 with the Death or Dishonor immersion pack as the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Or as uh, Austria-Hungary. We used to be Hungary. We're not anymore though. Okay. So we're at war with Romania. We're trying to reclaim some stuff. Uh, I don't actually know if we can beat Romania in a war. Maybe. Hmm... Yeah, I don't know. Looks like... Oh, you know what? So I was correct. Okay, so Germany does... <clears throat> Germany does have... Uh, or is at war with uh, with Romania. It's just that... We're not the same... It's not the same war. We are fighting the Romanians in our own terms, and then the, the, the Germans are fighting on their own terms. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Anywho, uh, so we're trying to invade these guys, and I don't really know exactly if we can beat them in this conflict. So let's go ahead and um, demonstrate the new air system. So we're going to move our, our planes to this new uh, airfield over here. Let's go to the Western Balkans, and we will be on interception, close air support, air superiority here in the Western Balkans. So hopefully we can, uh, you know, kick some ass over there. Poland has joined the Allies. We are not part of a faction, so I doubt that Romania will join a faction. I don't know if we can invade this guy or not successfully. I guess we'll maybe try it. We have a couple divisions still preparing to invade, um, but we can give this a shot. We have uh, limited conscription, limited exports, partial mobilization. I think, can I train up some more troops? I guess I could. It's going to take some... Uh... Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take some, some manpower, but I think we can do it. We just, we don't have any damn... We don't have any, um, any artillery for our divisions, which is a shame. I don't know, maybe I can invade here. The Soviet Union is actually backing the Romanians, which is interesting. Let's see, can we invade? Let's try it. I don't know. Hmm. We might break through, I don't know. Possibly not. Possibly not. <clears throat> I think they're just too strong, to be honest. Wow, the British Raj wants to back me um, in this war. I will accept then if that's the case. Why is everybody backing me? I don't get it. Yeah, so we're just, we're just, I don't think we're strong enough to uh, invade Romania. Honestly, I do not believe so. How's the air war going? Uh, hopefully we're kicking some ass, you know. Ace pilot has been promoted. Woo. Yeah. Hmm. Poland wants to give me support equipment? Yeah, I'll accept. Why would I refuse that? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I don't know. For now, it might just turn into like a, a World War One kind of situation. I didn't actually know that we would declare war on the Romanians. I didn't know that that would happen. The, the Germans are at war, but honestly, they don't, they don't even really kind of seem to want access or anything from me. So... I guess uh, we're just going to have to hang around see what the Germans are, are going to do in the future. Yeah, we've outdated equipment in production. We're also missing the production of close air support. Although, I, I don't think I want to swap over this uh, artillery. We we need... We need the artillery. 5.78 per day because of that... Because of that... Um, production efficiency is pretty important. I'm going to need it, so... We're going to be getting infantry weapons here pretty soon. Okay, let's see here. So let's just hang around here for a little bit. The Romanians are just going to keep training up troops, as as are we. We're gonna we're gonna keep training up men. So I guess we will find out what's uh, what's going on. Yeah, we'll find out what's going on. I don't know if I can invade successfully. I don't know if they're gonna keep attacking me or what. But right now it seems kind of like a World War One situation. I'm thinking. Um, I mean, this is a river. We're attacking across the river. We're defending in mountains. Um, the Carpathian Mountains are, are protecting us right now. I'm thinking maybe we could, if we have, like, some sort of concerted effort on just, like, one... One particular... Province? I don't know. Maybe we can take some land here? How... How is this, actually? He's got incredible defense. Holy crap. Commander skill? Yeah, our attack is just not good enough. The terrain, in particular, yeah, is just making it difficult to attack him. He's got some armor, too. Whoa, cool. So he's trying to attack us. He's trying to push us back. Hmm. 
I mean, this is a river, so it's not going to be easy to, to push across that. He's got even a couple divisions that just... Even a couple divisions can hold a river crossing pretty well. Looks like he's going to try and force us out. These light tanks are a problem. <clears throat> Looks like we have friendly air superiority, though. We're not really losing too many planes or anything. We just got domestic arms industry. Uh, we can go for autarky. We can go for aeronautics. I think I will go for the aeronautics just because I want that Hungarian aviation industry. But before we do that, let's actually go for the march to the shore with Yugoslavia. Poland refuses a German ultimatum. <clears throat> so Poland's going to be invaded by the Germans. German Reich declared war in Poland. I'd, I'd like to invade Romania before the Germans decide to do so because they will be able to um, get the peace deal where I won't be able to. Can Romania join the Allies? Really? Wow. Okay. The United Kingdom has uh, joined the Kingdom of Romania as our enemy in the Hung Hungarian Romanian War. Son of a bitch! You bastards. Okay, so France and the United Kingdom are now our enemies. Uh, I will take a non-aggression pacts with Italy and Germany. I will not join the Axis, though. That's not my desire. Okay, so they're going to move troops all oh along God. this front. Let's go and extend our defensive front line. Well, yeah, we're not at war with Poland, actually, so I don't think Romania can move into Polish territory to invade us. Okay, let's go ahead and launch another offensive, see what happens. I want to try and cut- I want to try and see if I can occupy the Romania right now. Looks like Poland- yeah, the- uh, yeah, okay, so we're- we're gonna be fighting the Empire now. <clears throat> the, uh, the Commonwealth, which is a shame. We have some troops moving across the river, though. I think we're gonna go ahead, let's take a look here at these divisions. I think we need these guys right now, so we're just gonna drop those guys in. So I've got one defensive army group, and I've got one offensive army group. Really just a lot of infantry, a lot of artillery. Not much else. No cav, nothing like that. The enemy is called Poland in our war. Son of a bitch. This is not the way I expected our uh, rebuilding of the Austro-Hungarian Empire to go. But, alright. Uh, I guess I'll take what I can get. At least we have some good artillery. We have a lot of artillery, which is nice. Um, since I'm not part of the faction with... Uh, of Ger with Germany, I can probably invade Yugoslavia and Bulgaria without too many issues. I don't know if they'd be, you know, allied with the Germans or something, or allied with the with the United Kingdom. I doubt it. I doubt it. <clears throat> We're losing quite a bit of troops. And we have quite a few enemies to contend with. Germany's over here. He's invading Poland. He's only got 103 to 150 divisions. We'll see if that's enough. That's quite a large force if they're all well supplied and well maintained, but I don't know if that's true. The Soviets probably are supporting me. <coughs> hmm. Okay, so the offensive is not progressing as well as I thought it would. Let's see. We just got some. We just got some encryption. National Spain wants to send volunteers. I'll go ahead and accept. Let's take this excavation. Yes, yeah, so we're losing a lot of men. <clears throat> German pressure towards the Menelux. Okay. German Reich declared war on Luxembourg. So yeah, these guys have way too high of defense. We're not going to break through here at all. Let's go for this artillery upgrade, I think. How's our industry? Well, once we get some political power, we can pro we're probably going to need conscription law first, but... Um, let's go and cease the assault for now. I'm trying to see, where could I possibly maneuver in here? I want to see the, if the Germans get over here to Lowau and then... Just kind of... Encircle these Romanian troops, I might try and move in here for an offensive. You got a lot of men, man. <clears throat> There's the fall of Warsaw, so Poland has surrendered. Jesus balls, what is with that? Holy shit. Alright, let's relaunch this offensive. I might actually also, let's let's have another offensive line. And see if my defensive general can prepare for an offensive war. Yeah, we need this conscription law soon. We're going to be running out of men here. Alright, 
Yeah, definitely we lack equipment. That damn artillery, we don't have enough. And we're not going to be getting really many anytime soon. There's Nationalist Spain. Is At least his troops are all fully supplied, which is nice. So let's go after Romania. That is my primary goal, is to uh, definitely invade Romania. <clears throat> so at least maybe get an occupation of him before we consider anything else. Okay, so it's only October 1939 right now. United, yeah, USSR occupies Eastern Poland. Uh, the Germans may push in troops in here. I'm not sure how I feel about that, actually, to be honest. I don't know if I want him to push in troops in here, because then he would get the occupation of Romania, which I don't want him to have. Then again, we are fighting the Allies anyway. I just don't want to join the, uh, the you know, why join the Axis? It's not really going to help me very much. I kind of wanted to have my own damn faction. Yeah, these guys are all non-aligned, so they're unwilling to really join a faction. Um, the Germans are going to push against France now, which is good for me. Let's go and change our conscription law. We can change our economy law, too, but I think we need extensive conscription right now for the manpower. There we go. Okay, I don't think we need a front with the Russians. Don't think that's necessary. Let's go and take a look at this front line over here. How long is this front line? Yeah, okay, so we can remain in Romania now, I think, relatively easily. I don't know where the hell the rest of the Romanian army is, but whatever. Let's just go and just walk into their territory. Yeah, there we go. So the occupation of Romania is now underway. Let's go and start fabricating on, uh, wait, did we get our claims? Yeah. We haven't gotten our claims yet. Hmm. It's really unfortunate that Romania joined the Allies. I, I doubt that we would have been able to destroy them anyway, but that's, yeah, that sucks. That sucks. It's really unfortunate. There's this fucking army. I thought these guys were around here somewhere. Jesus. They were just out of position. That's why. We pushed them quite a bit into their territory, though. We're gonna get some encirclements. We got some armor. We just got marched to the shore. We can get some claims on Italy. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. We can claim Galicia, which is now, I believe, controlled by the USSR, so I don't think so. Let's go for this research slot. Support equipment. Yeah, all, all, everything. We just we need everything. We got some new weapons. I think we will swap over that production immediately. Uh, yeah, I think it's worth it. Yeah, we're just going to upgrade our weapons. The towed artillery, we're not going to swap that over. No, I don't think so. Okay, how's this coming along? Yeah, our troops lack equipment, for sure. It's 1940. I'm already researching that artillery war or artillery upgrade. Yeah, so now we're facing a superior enemy, apparently. How many divisions? 17 to 40. Hmm. How many troops in the field? Well, yeah. It only tells me, uh, yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, we're pushing up on them. Hopefully the USSR doesn't get any ideas, but I guess they could. Yeah, USSR is claimed Bessarabia, which is unfortunate. Alright, looks like the offensive's going okay. Yeah, we might get some circlements here and there. You bastards. Holy shit, the USSR has got a lot of troops on my frontier. German Reich declared war in the Netherlands? Let's encircle this guy, kill him. Let's go and cease the assault over here for a second. 
Can you Romania is calling the Netherlands? Yeah, that's damn unfortunate that they joined the Allies. It really is. I would have preferred for that to not be the case. They went to war economy. Uh, we're losing shit tons of men. <clears throat> so let's go and halt the offensive for a second. We're losing crap tons of men. It's uh, November 30th, 1939. So it looks like we're draining him of equipment, but I think he's drained enough of equipment even more. <clears throat> let's uh, let's let the divisions prepare for a second. Let's let them build up this uh, this offensive plan, and we'll see if we can uh, make something happen. This guy's a level six at general now. He's a trickster, and he's a ranger, which is good for us. Okay, so we are entrenched. Let's go and attack. We want to get. I want to get out of these mountains. If we get out of the mountains, we'll be in a better position. Let's see, 1940. No, no, uh, no research for now. Okay, let's go for these uh, improved infantry equipment. We're gonna want that soft attack. Anything else we can do to these infantry divisions? Not now, I don't think. You fuckers, man. These battles aren't going very well. We just don't have the attack. Yeah, the terrain's too heavy. Damn mountains. And I really don't have any equipment at all. Hmm. This equipment's gonna kill us if we keep fighting like this. It's really unfortunate. Belgium has capitulated. We need some resources. We need shit tons of steel. Am I willing to trade? Who's got steel? Let's actually find out who has steel. The Soviet Union. The fall of Cairo. Wow, Cairo's fallen to the Italians. That's interesting. Civilian factories. They'll give me 56 steel for seven civilian factories. Anybody else who can do better? Not really. Alright, I guess we will trade with the uh, with the Soviets. I'm giving up a lot of civilian factories, which is unfortunate, but... Um, hmm. The Dutch East Indies. The Dutch East Indies is a puppet of the Netherlands? I thought the Netherlands controlled that directly. Wow, well, okay. That's kind of cool. God damn it, man. <sighs> yeah, we don't have enough troops. We don't have enough troops. My troops aren't good enough to advance in Romania. Um, I think eventually I might drain him of equipment, but for now, I think we might just have to kind of stay here, kind of in a World War One sort of setting, and just kind of bog him down a little bit. Yeah, I've taken, like, twice as many casualties. Um... Let's go for our mobile defense. As far as doctrine. I want to produce more troops, but I just don't have the equipment. It's not it's gonna hurt my existing divisions in the field. I can't sustain those troops. We need this damn artillery. When is this deficit gonna be uh taken care of? About about a year from now. Okay. Let's see, the fall of Paris. Okay, so the German army is advancing over here. Nation Francaise declared war on Free France. Vichy France. The second armistice of Compiègne. Okay, so the Germans have basically taken over, yeah, most of Europe. Flight of Rudolf Hess. We have claims over here. Could justify a war goal, but I'm not sure how much good it would do. Jesus balls. Let's get those military factories. We're gonna need them. We got an extra research slot. Let's go for... I think we'll go for some better engineer and reconnaissance companies. Our organization is just shit. It's just so shit. <laughs> yeah. We're in a constant enemy pressure. Okay. Good to know.
Yeah, why is it? Why does it say that organization is so low we can't advance? It's kind of curious. It doesn't necessarily seem that way. Not from what I'm looking at. Let's go for those recon companies. I think it might be because we might not have the equipment that they need. I don't know. Vichy France wants to send us uh, weapons and support equipment. I will go ahead and accept. Huh. Yeah, we don't have any convoys, I just realized. Well, yeah, we don't have a port. Which is... It's true. <laughs> yeah. We don't have any ports. Upgrades, reinforcements. Yeah, we're, going, we're sending all equipment to reinforcements right now. You fucking Romanians, man, I swear. I gotta get something going here. You see, like as soon as as soon as we prolong these battles, they're just not gonna go our way. It's just not possible. Hmm. Germany's gonna send us Oh my god, they're gonna send us a lot of equipment. Holy shit. Non aggression pact with the Vichy France. It's these damn mountains, too. These damn mountains are hurting our uh, organization replenishment. German interest in Scandinavia. Germany declared war in Denmark. Alright, so how is Germany doing? Is he actually doing okay? Is he invading, like, where you should be and such? So far, he's doing okay. He's actually pretty historical. Um, German right declared war in Norway. Okay. So we lost, uh, yeah, the Romanians have lost 150,000, we've lost about 300,000. Yeah, like, like 220, 220, 230. So this guy's a decent general, actually. <clears throat> God damn. The defense on some of these armies is pretty, pretty high. Okay, so we can go for extensive conscription, we can get service by requirement, but I think we have enough manpower for now. Total mobilization would hurt our, uh, our manpower, so let's go for maybe... Let's go for war economy, I think. We'll stay away from total mobilization for as long as we can. <coughs> I gotta have some units that can advance into this river. Come on, there's gotta be something I can do. I wanna get to this river, man. We gotta get into Bucharest. We're almost there, too. We're almost into Bucharest. I feel like something weird is going on. Like with the AI? Like with the battle AI? I feel like they should be doing better than they are. I feel like this guy, I feel like my AI is being too cautious. Maybe I should, uh... I don't know, is that true? Possibly. Denmark has capitulated. Guess we are breaking through now. I'm still taking significant losses. We have free dockyards. I don't even have a port, man. Where's my dockyards? What are you talking about? I don't have any ports. Yeah, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> That's so weird. We're gonna be in Bucharest here pretty soon, though. Once that happens, uh, Romania's gonna be done. Jesus. We've lost a lot of men. There we go. After we changed our uh, stance to aggressive, it looks like we're doing a little better. Cool. We don't want to be too aggressive, but I think we're doing okay right now. We have uh, enough initiative, I think, that we're going to we're going to force Romania to uh, capitulate. God damn it! United Kingdom join fucking or the Yugoslavia join the Allies. Oh shit! That is not good for us, which means they're going to be called into this war any minute now. That's not going to be good. Yeah, we should wrap this war up pretty soon.
Yugoslavia actually appears pretty weak, I would say. Um, Yugoslavian Confederation declared war in Yugoslavia. Oh my god, really? A civil war? Holy shit. That's pretty cool. Let's go and go for... If I want to go for autarky? Mm, anything else we can do? Let's go for home defense. I think I might want to go down some of this uh, military doctrine. Dude, these guys would give me. Oh my god, look at the look at the equipment that Yugoslavia is gonna give me. Holy shit! Are you fucking kidding me? God damn it! What the fuck, Yugoslavia, dude? Okay, so Yugoslavia is non-aligned, and is in the Axis. The Yugoslav Confederation is democratic, and they're in the Allies. Holy shit! Oh, dude, I don't have any troops for this, though. You motherfuckers. Can we get, can we, like, invade Romania real quick before the Yugoslavians get an upper hand? I do want to invade a lot of this territory, actually. Um, let's go and extend the front, then. Maybe if I can, if these guys can move some troops over before the, uh, the Yugoslavians get here. Then again, though, to be fair, we're going to be in Bucharest here, I think, in just a minute. Come on, guys, get in there. Get in there. Yugoslavia cancel the Lend Lease? Yeah, big surprise. We're in Pleosti. We can be in Bucharest here by the end of the month. Come on, baby. Get in there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Get in there, fellas. Yep, yep. Come on. Go, go, go to Bucharest. Get your fat asses in there. Yugoslavs don't have too many troops, so I think we can, if we can be aggressive, we can push into Bucharest here by the end of, you know, by the end of, if not this month, then the next month. This is, uh, it's gonna be April 1940. Come on, get in there. Yes! There we go. Let's see, Kingdom of Romania has given us, uh, 5.8 thousand motorized trucks, 1.4 thousand rifles, and 1.4 thousand other equipment. Do we have any artillery? Yes, we actually have quite a bit of artillery. Nice, cool. Okay, so we control Romania, and then we're going to smash out the uh, last pockets of resistance. So let's go ahead and cancel that plan, and cancel this plan. In fact, I don't even know if we should have any offensive plans. We have frontiers. This is our offensive army, so let's go ahead and draw a line here. Yeah, so Romania surrendered. It is kind of a shame that all their troops just kind of disappear. I'll admit, maybe a little bit. So Yugoslavia was not aligned, and yet they joined the Axis. It's kind of strange, isn't it? Uh, it's a little weird. Yeah, it's a little weird. We have non-aggression packs with the Axis, though, so I don't really have to worry about them declaring war on me. So we can focus on first Yugo the Yugoslav Confederation. We can focus on the Yugoslav Confederation, and then also building up our industry, getting things, you know, repaired. Whoopsies. Uh, we have some civilian factories, military factories. How, is, how are our resources? They're okay. They're doing actually pretty good. Um, I could probably change the trade law if I wanted to. Um, let's take a look here. Do I want some armor? Let's go and start researching, like, light armor. And let's go to push into uh, the Yugoslav Confederation. We should be okay to invade them and then take over, I think, Bulgaria. Austria-Hungary is well on its way. I think we'll actually keep an eye on, uh, on the war between, let's see, Soviet Union wants to send volunteers, I'll go ahead and refuse, actually, I don't really want them. Yeah, we have resisted occupation, which is big, it's a big shame. We're gonna want some MPs then, some military police. Hmm. We're going to be in Belgrade here pretty soon. Okay, so we occupy all this. So, we'll go ahead and take, uh, let's go and garrison the area. We'll garrison basically most of the occupied territories that we have. Then this guy will be used to invade Bulgaria.
Okay, we about uh, 364,000 men in the field. Let's get some repairs going. We have, uh, let's see, how many factories? Uh, 44 military, 33 in use. Or, uh, 33 civilian factories. Let's grab some dockyards. I think I want some convoys for now. Use the convoys. Okay, so it's a kind of a weird-looking Austria-Hungary, but it is bigger than anything that ever happened in history, so... Well, sort of. We don't own Czechoslovakia, so... <laughs> it's kind of a shame. Yeah. How powerful are the Germans? Really strong. They're really strong. How are we doing our resources? How many are we trading away? We're still buying... Are we still buying steel from the Soviets? Yeah. It's going to give them a few more military factories, but at least we'll be able to have everything that we need as far as our equipment. Um, I could swap this over. We still need the artillery, though, so let's just keep it for now. Um, we're going to want some aircraft. Yeah, we we'll want some aircraft. We actually have a lot of resources that we really should probably start to trade away. Um, close air support. Let's see, transport planes, interwar fighters. We're going to need some better fighters than that, I think. Close air support's not bad, though. Let's find a better air base. Let's move these troops over here. Yeah, we lost a lot of fighters, a lot of close air support, from what it looks like. We had some bombers, too. Okay. Okay, so let's fabricate against Bulgaria. We'll see if we get some, if they get some sort of guarantee or something. Wow, the PRC is uh, capitulated to Japan. Holy shit! Japan is very soon going to conquer... Uh... Yeah, he's going to conquer China. And he's in the Axis. Good to know. <clears throat> okay, Romania is capitulated. Okay. We just got home defense. We can go for assault gun focus. Mutually exclusive with developed tanks, huh? Wow, self-propelled artillery. Interesting. Huh. Alright. Uh, well, do I want that now? Do I want something else? Would I prefer something else? Let's go for the autarky. Maybe we'll need those synthetics. I don't know. Uh, we actually do produce quite a bit of oil. Hmm. Alright, guys. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and take a break here. And, uh, I'm not really sure how this campaign is gonna continue, I guess. It's kinda gone a little differently than what I intended. So, let's go and invade Bulgaria. Maybe we'll eventually build up to attack Yugoslavia and then the Germans. Uh, eventually. You know, I guess we could, in theory, do it. Um, although it looks like the AI is definitely different in this patch. I think Italy and Germany are doing a lot better than historically, um, in Hearts Round 4 they were. Seems that things are less railroaded, and it looks like the AI is, is actually just kind of better. You know, they're they're better at what they're doing. So we'll see where it goes. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much.